is up guys today I am bringing you a special video and today it will be my Walking Dead collection I've been saving for over I'd say about five to six years of just constant collecting as you can see got anything from figures to uh, well t-shirts and all that but that's not in the video but got collectible figures limited edition uh, comics magazines uh, just anything that they sell I pretty well much buy um, I'll bring you in in just a sec alright I just want to bring it in a little closer here so as you can see I've got series one I am missing I believe it's two I'm missing a Daryl Dixon and the Greg Nicotero Walker I can't remember exactly what it was called I think it's the the biter one biter walker I think because I know the other one's obviously the zombie walker with the wind-up action uh, legs. And then you move down to season two. It's a little blurry, or not blurry, but bright because of the... Can't really adjust it, but it's bright as you can see. I don't know, I won't do anything, but you got the Rick from season two. The well walker, Shane. And you got the RV zombie bicycle girl from season two. Then if you move on, you got the whole season, th uh, series four, is that four? Uh, I have them kind of mix up order here, um, but anyway, go from season four, series four, to series five with Glenn, Maggie, Tyrese, Merle, the child zombie, you get the, you get the point, but you, I just been collecting for such a long, long time now. Um, see, I have just little, other little other memorabilia, I guess you can call it, from coffee cups, to little collector's tins, to little pop figures, and you got the, uh, what's it called, the, uh, two compendiums, I'm still awaiting the third, um, then you got some of the collector's binders, which, uh, there's the comic book, ser uh, season one, or no, well, not series, season one, it'd be series one, because they did it differently than the TV show, but then you got season three. I think that's part one. Um, I also have the season one uh, cards in there. I never, I missed out on them, unfortunately, which was really silly of me. But uh, anyway, then you got some collector's tokens. I think I have the full base set of the token, or no, not tokens, the. Uh, dog tags but there are some tokens in there too and then I got a full set of the McFarlane extras um, uh, figures and then I've got the special zombie survival bag which is the Walking Dead backpack and then move on to a calendar just got some extra stuff in there season six you guys probably can't really see it but I've got the season two all the, every box that I get for the limited edition I keep it. I've got the season two. Then I got season three, which is signed by Todd McFarlane. I met him at uh, uh, Fan Expo in Toronto. Then I've got the season four limited edition. And in the corner, can't see it, but it's season five. I just got season six for Christmas. Um, trying to think of what else I got. Collectible magazines or magazines uh, well magazines there and then I've got the collectible comics in the uh, in the uh, corner there I've got all the 100 issues the only one I'm actually missing is the sketch version then I have uh, me I got a guy to custom draw one on issue 115 uh, I'll turn that off just so you can see it a little better but you got the uh, I got him to draw Daryl and uh, on just a uh, issue 115 because it was a create your own cover so I got him to do that for me then I got this is like my most prized possession out of my collection it's uh, a Norman Reedus it's not by Norman Reedus but it's Daryl Dixon's I'll give you a better look at it here it's a uh, Daryl Dixon's vest which is signed on the right wing. I'm still, oops, which is signed on the right wing here. I'm still waiting to get a uh, a jersey box. I forget what they're called, but they're uh, they're for for jerseys. And um, 
yeah, I was going to get one of those to put it in so it's not just, I don't want it to get wrecked or the autograph to fade. So then we're going to move up to the top here. We got the custom, uh, well, not custom, the uh, collectible posters, and you got a soundtrack card game. Then I've got all of the uh, Cryptozoic and Tops cards boxes all lined up here. I've gotten plenty over the, the years. I even have the one for season one. I bought a, a set that came with the box, a uh, full bit, uh, base set and some uh, inserts. Then we move on to some bobbleheads. Then I got some of the, the sets like the um, Morgan with the walkers from the episode Clear. Then you've got the 10 inch Rick, 10 inch Daryl. I also have the 10 inch Daryl, the um, bloody version. I have it in my glass display, which I'll show you in a minute. And I've got the Michonne. I think they're black and white, but, uh, the bloody black and white, or I can't remember. Um, I think so, I can't remember. Um, then you've got the two um, brothers, the Dixon brothers, and it's actually, I don't know if you can make that out, but it is signed on the, in the middle there. And then you got the bloody three pack of the zombies, which are in black and white. You got the board game, typical. You've got the, some more mugs and all that, all that fun stuff. Uh, bank, um, to call the coin banks, another soundtrack, some darts, cause I do have a Walking Dead dart board. Then we move on to the side here. I've got a uh, calendar. I've got more. I've got them all from every year. I just don't ha have the room to put it up. Then I got a hat, some towels. I just thought were cool. Then I got a, a toque with Daryl's poncho. It's like a uh, what's it called? Like a I don't know what to call it. I think it's like a pajama kind of shirt, poncho, whatever. Um, then you move on to the other side here. Got a just a cheap before I got my custom made Daryl Dixon vest. I've got uh, my old one here. Um, just simple <laughs> printed on fake leather with the with Daryl's ears. You move up. Got another calendar from I think that's season three or no season two. Sorry. And then yeah, that's it for basically the closet part there. Um, I'm gonna move over to the uh, to the glass display. All right, so now we have. See, you can see as I was talking about the uh, before. I have the Walking Dead dartboard, but we're moving on to my uh, glass display that I have here. So I've got one of the box of cards that I opened for Christmas. Just haven't taken out the autographs and all that. Then we move into the Color Top series, which are phenomenal. They're really well detailed. Uh, better, they're better than the. Uh, I think they're five, no, just the, the regular size figures. I can't remember exactly what size they are, but then you got three busts of Rick, Daryl, the governor, then some figures. You also got the uh, Walking Dead little paperweight. You guys probably can't really see that, but then we move down one more. I've got the rest of the color top set with Travis, Abraham, and Madison. Then you move on to season one, the limited edition. And there's season two there with Rick and Daryl on the side, just the regular figures. That's what they look like with size and how they look with detail and stuff like that. And then there's the color top to Daryl figure there. Hold on, I'm just trying to zoom in. There we go. So Daryl's figure there, which is, looks really, really nice on display. And then we've got season three and season four the limited edition there's the bloody 10 inch daryl um i will uh, actually be posting pictures at the end of the video to give you a really clear um a really clear view of all my collection and all that then uh, in the back we have the binders from other seasons of the trading cards um then we move down to the final one we've got season five and six and the um, uh, binder as well um, and then I'm just gonna move back here sorry I'm kind of it's all my collections in my room so it's kind of like a little tight for space then you got Lucille on the side
and just a crossbow that looks like Daryl's. I just thought it would have been cool to pick up, and I did cosplay for it when I went to a fan expo. But that's my glass display, and next I'm going to show you my autograph wall and uh, more of my figures. Alright, so these are some more of my figures. I've got the rest of the set here. Uh, the only one I'm missing from the figures is um, the... I, I can't remember if Aaron's been released yet in the uh, Series 10 Rick with the uh, um, Alexandria police uniform. But those are the rest. I've got the rest of the set there. And then now I'm just going to show you my uh, autograph wall. And so here is my autograph wall. As you can see, I've met quite, quite, uh, quite a few of the cast members. I've got in the middle is just a really, really well done uh, art from uh, Jason Palmer. It's really good. You should check him out um, on Instagram and stuff like that. He's he's really good. He does all his uh, art through uh, the computer. It's really, really well done. Uh, I'll just move in. So we got Lauren Cohen there. I've got. Uh, Sarah Wien Cowley is there. Then you got Norman Reedus and Merle Dixon. Well, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Norman Reedus and Michael Rooker as obviously Daryl and Merle. They're both signed there. Then I met, uh, there's a picture of me cosplaying was uh, Daryl Dixon. And then I actually got Norman Reedus to hold the crossbows if he was shooting me. It was really fun. He was, we were both dying in laughter. It was a good time. Then I've got uh, David Morris. He is the governor. Uh, met him as well. He's a really, really nice guy. Same thing with uh, Scott Wilson. Super nice guy. Then we got uh, Denai Guerrero. She was really, really nice as well. They're all really, really, really nice and really appreciate their fans. Then we got Lori Holden as Andrea. Um, and then here is Axel. And uh, yeah, he was a funny dude. Then we got Glenn, who I'm going to miss a lot. My favorite character is Daryl Dixon, but Glenn was also one of them as well. For me, I'd say it was Daryl, uh, Rick, then Glenn. And then we move on. We've got Jesus as, uh, his name is Tom Payne. Really cool guy as well. Then we got a picture of me a while ago. This was, that was years ago. That's when I first met Norman Reedus and, uh, well, Michael Rooker, but that, that year was more important. I met Norman Reedus, but and then there again, I met him. Met him again. I met, I met him three times, and of those times, he actually remembered who I was. So that was really, really cool. He's really good with his fans. So yeah, we got Norm Rita, Sarah Wayne Kelly's me, then uh, 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 Lou Temple and uh, Scott Wilson. Yeah, I'll just give you one more little out shot. Sorry guys, I know this is like kind of hard to see a lot of this, is because I'm in my all my stuff's in my room, and my bed takes up a lot of space. So. But, uh, yeah, just to finish you off, finish this video off here, this is the rest of my collection. Obviously, you've seen it already, but, yeah, thanks for watching. I just figured I'd show it off because I'm going to be painting my room, so I get, all this has got to come down, unfortunately. But, just want to show you guys. But, yeah, anyways, uh, if you like the video, please uh, subscribe, like, comment, you know. All the, all the fun stuff. Um, one more thing, actually, I do have behind there. There's boxes, obviously, because I gotta put it away. But I've got uh, two cardboard cutouts of, of Rick and Daryl. So I don't have those set up anymore. There just wasn't enough room. But yeah. So if you like the video, please like, subscribe, comment. You know the, you know the deal. Thanks, guys, and have a good one.